Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This video is a Scandinavian makeup versus French makeup trends video. I'm going to be showing you how these two areas um, do their makeup, how the women from these two areas do their makeup basically. I hope that I capture the Scandinavian makeup trend well. I researched a lot on it before doing this video and obviously being French, um, you know, being French, I do know quite a lot about French makeup, so I wasn't too worried about that, but I do know that not every French woman does their makeup like this, so um, I'm aware of that, but this is, French makeup has a certain reputation outside of France for being dewy and luminous and, you know, it has a doe-eyed look and the red lips, so I hope I captured that well. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a like and a, to subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And tell me guys, which side do you like the best? Bye guys! French makeup is all about dewiness and luminosity, so we're gonna put in a bit of hydration which is gonna serve to um, like make the makeup look more dewy, make the base look more flawless and luminous. I'm gonna be using this Hydra Bio Thermal Water. It's by Bioderma. And this is gonna be the front side, so I'm just gonna spray it onto the front side. On the Norwegian side, I'm going to take this Smashbox Primer, it's the Photo Finish Poreless Primer, and I'm just going to apply it to my problem areas. I'm not going to be applying it everywhere because um, Norwegian makeup is all about less is more when it comes to foundation. So I'm just going to apply it here because I have some bumps that I'd like to disguise, and here, and you know what, a little bit here, and that's about it. Yeah. On the Norwegian side for foundation, we're going to be using the Ordinary Serum Foundations. These are really good. So I have it. I have the 3.1R and the 3.2R. I'm going to mix them together. We're just going to dot it onto the face, making sure that we don't put too much because they're not too big on foundation. On the French side, we're going to be using the Lancome Tat Miracle Foundation Color 12. As you guys know, this is my go-to foundation. And I'm going to be darkening it with the NYX Pro, Pro Foundation Mixer. I'm just going to add in a drop and apply it. We're just gonna, you know, lightly dot the concealer on both sides. They don't like anything too excessive, you know. I think the French use a bit more concealer than the Norwegians. The Norwegians really like to keep it um, understated and subtle. And then I'm gonna be blending it out with my Wet Beauty Blender as soon as I can find it. on the French side are strong in a way but quite defined you know they like a really well defined brow that follows a natural shape Norwegian women tend to go for strong, full, thick brows. So that's what I'm going to do. And they also like their brows a bit dark, actually. A bit, well, what I think is a bit dark compared to their hair color. So we're going to do that. Prime the eyes on both sides, we're going to be using concealer and I'm just going to tap it onto my beauty blender and dot it on the eye, on both sides. French makeup is all about having a doe-eyed look, so we're going to go for depth and then we're going to go for luminosity. For depth, I'm going to be using um, the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette and I'm going to be using the I mean the modern renaissance palette and I'm going to be using this color called cypress umber and I'm just going to 
and we're just going to go into the crease in a circular motion and create depth as we say we would do. We should try to make the outer of the eye as dark as naturally possible <laughs> and you know just go lighter in towards the inner. On the mobile lid we're going to apply burnt orange. On the inner eye corners, we're going to go in with tempura. On the Norwegian side, we're going to do practically the same. We're going to use um, the same color in the crease. And then we're going to go for um, a color that's more close to my skin tone for the inner eye corner and um, on the eyelid. where everything concerning the eye makeup comes into play. This is the big finale for the eye makeup and it's the mascara. These, um, the trend in Norway is like uh, very long lashes. They love long dark eyelashes and a lot of women who I've seen wearing makeup here in Scandinavia, in Scandinavia and as a whole, actually wear false lashes or else they have ridiculously long and full lashes that are black whilst they're blonde, I don't know. But um, I think I'm gonna have to help myself with H&M uh, false lashes that look natural, the natural looking ones, because I was not gifted in that area. When God was distributing eyelashes, I obviously went out to pee, so yeah. As you can see, I ended up adding false lashes. I just felt really bold in a way. It's so strange to say, it, yeah, but I felt bold. So I added some natural looking um, eyelashes from H&M and now we're just gonna curl it with, curl them with this curling, um, whatever it's called, eye curler. Both the French and the Norwegians love their blush, but um, the French go for a bit of a de deeper shade of blush, so I'm going to be using this Pink Spirit by 3, um, yeah, Pink Spirit blush kit from Sleek. I'm going to be using this color here on the French side. Just going to tap it lightly and put it on the apples of the cheeks and go towards the hairline. And on the Norwegian side, we're going to go with um, this color here. And we are going to put a teeny bit more than on the French side. They really like to look flushed. You know, like, I don't know, they like to look like uh, somebody just paid them the biggest compliment and they are blushing for days. like new tones so they go for fleshy tones and new tones and of late I've seen them embracing grayish a bit more than um, than when I first came here so we're gonna do exactly that I'm gonna go with my natural lip color and I'm just gonna shade it in first with this brown slick pencil and then I'm gonna go in with fresh brew from Mac On the French side, it's obviously going to be a red lip. You know, us French love our red lipsticks. So we're just going to put this. This is the brightest red that I own. It's by Kiko. If 
finally to finish up on the front side we're going to do something called strobing and strobing is just putting light to uh, the places of your face where um, you want to you, you want the light to hit French people have been doing this for years you know before they even knew the word strobing it's um, very popular in French makeup to do this we're going to use um, col colors that are more um, dark skin friendly for my part and I find this color and uh, this color here and this bronzer if I mix them together that's gives the best look so we're gonna strobe here on the highest point of the cheekbone where the light would hit and then we're gonna strobe um, the side of the nose and just a little bit here 